Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's. Here we've got a Volkswagen E-Golf, 35.8 kilowatt hour, finished in Indium Grey metallic paint. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 16 inch alloys, finished with a diamond cut finish. At the back you get a generous boot as with all golfs and the back seats will fall down if you need any extra space in there the center seat um, well portion of the center seat will also fall down individually to give you some through loading and you do also have a little bit of extra storage just under here as well for example your cables are under there for charging this car has got MOT until the 22nd of Feb 2024 and we'll come with a full VW service history Inside we have the cloth seats in Titan Black, um, decent bolsters on the side and the base to keep you in place. The seats themselves are very comfortable and that continues to the rear as well. I believe these are called Zoom cloth. Um, up front we have um, your, what is essentially your rev counter on the left uh, and your speedo on the right with your little digital screen in the centre. Uh, currently showing the digital speedo but you do also have things like your assist systems on there. Um, so if I just turn the adaptive cruise on, you can see that on there. Um, then you've also got um, a speed limiter on there, I believe. Yep, there you go. And back to the adaptive cruise. Uh, moving on to the next tab, you've got your nav, uh, your audio, your telephone, your vehicle status, and then back to your driving info on there as well. Um, you do also have your range just on the bottom right there, uh, and your mileage just there as well. On the main screen, we've got a full touch screen system. It does also have gesture control, which if you can see this little hand here, it means you can move the screen without touching the screen. Um, it's quite a cool feature, um, which I do quite like. On the left hand side, you've got your menu button to bring up this screen, and then you've also got your home button um, underneath it as well. Which this is your home menu, you've got your nav, your telephone, and your radio or media on there as well. You do also have your volume controls just there. Um, so we do have App Connect, so you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car. Um, if you prefer just to have your calls and your music coming through, then you can do that just via Bluetooth as well. Uh, on the media section, you do also have um, a CD player located in the glove box here. Uh, you do also have two SD card slots available, so if you want to put some music on an SD card, then you can do that as well. Then we've got your telephone, so on here you will have your contacts, all that sort of stuff uh, when you're connected on there. You've got <coughs> DAB, uh, FM, AM radio on here, and then we have your nav on here as well. It's a nice easy sat nav system to use, nice and clear, you can change the views, change the points of interest, that sort of stuff on there. But if you are using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, uh, then you will just probably be using Google Maps or Apple Maps, uh, whatever your preferred preference is. <clears throat> you do also have your traffic info on here as well, um, which is nice and up to date as well. Um, <clears throat> so you can sort of plan your journey accordingly. Um, then we've got your aircon settings on here. Obviously, you do have separate climate controls, um, but just to give you an overview, that is on there. And you do also have a heated front screen as well. And finally, on the vehicle info, you've got um, this is the e displays, so you can see your range monitor. Um, that sort of stuff, your power flow, things like that. And then you've got various different settings on here as well for your parking sensors and things like that on there. Uh, speaking of the parking sensors, you do have front and rear um, sensors with the selective display. Uh, this will come on automatically when you put the car into reverse, uh, but you can turn it on and off just by pressing the P button there. Um, jumping ahead a bit there but we've got um, your climate control here so you've got dual zone climate control temperature for the driver and the passenger uh, they can be synced up as they are now so when you change the driver the passenger will change as well or you can have them both independent we've got a little storage area here uh, with a usb input and an aux input just there um, we've got an automatic gearbox is an electric vehicle so there's not really any gears to it um, so you've got normal drive and then you've got regen braking as well so you can recoup a bit more energy uh, when you're braking on there as well uh, we have different drive modes 
so we've got normal eco and eco plus so that will change the way the car behaves uh, normal sort of your everyday driving but um, eco and eco plus will increase the um, battery life and things like that <clears throat> this little button here is for the electronic engine sound so obviously there's no noise from the engine so it does emit um, sort of a false sound just so pedestrians and other road users can actually hear the vehicle coming uh, then we do also have park assist as well on there as well as the parking sensors so you've got various different um, park assistance um, things you can use on there um, you've got an electronic parking brake hill hold assist little storage area there a couple of cup holders 12 volt socket and then a storage area just in the center console here as well uh, the door pockets are a very good size and they're also lined with felt as is the uh, glove box so if you've got stuff in there it won't rattle around too much up front we've got um, a standard golf steering wheel really uh, relatively flat bottom blue stitching um, as it is electric vehicle so they do have blue trim rather than um, any other color you'll see the same on the gear selector as well um, on the left hand side you've got your cruise control settings um, and your volume control and on the right hand side you've got the controls for the driver's display and your hands free and track skip controls as well at the back you've got rain sensing wipers automatic lights and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors with electric fold as well <coughs> moving to the back um, it is a five door so you've got a good amount of accessibility um, good amount of room in the back seats as well it's quite nice and airy in here because um, you don't have tinted windows at the rear so quite a lot of light gets in which is nice um, as i mentioned you do have through loading in the center seat so if you want to use that that is available um, and then you've got storage pockets behind the front seats ice fix points on the outer rear seats and again decent door pockets lined with felt <coughs> It's a really nice car to drive. It drives very similar to a Golf, to be fair. It's not, it doesn't feel much difference apart from the um, sort of acceleration factor. You do have instant pickup uh, because there's no engines, no um, gearbox to change down gears or anything like that. You get instant pickup from the electric motors. Um, so it's quite nippy around town. Um, <clears throat> it will come with six months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the other cars we have in stock, please go to drayton's.co.uk. Thank you.